It can be lots of fun to see classic tractors just driving around, but it's even more interesting to watch them being put to work, just like when they were working in the fields many years ago. That probably explains why vintage tractor pulls are becoming a popular destination for many machinery of the past enthusiasts. Even though Howard McDougall of Regina, Saskatchewan had a rewarding 30-year career as a heavy-duty mechanic, he's now more interested in tractor pulling at the annual Western Canada Farm Progress Show in Regina. He grew up on a farm with cockshut tractors and has become a serious collector in recent years. And uh, we've got, uh, I've got about seven 40s. And we've got uh, five, six, seven, eight, 30s at home and we got four more to haul. Right now McDougall is pulling with a 1949 Cockshut 40 which is rated at right around 40 horsepower. He bought this tractor at an auction sale a couple of years ago. After doing some body work and acquiring a few missing parts he started pulling with it. McDougall says strong interest from collectors has made it a lot pricier to buy Cockshut tractors in recent years. We were at an auction last year we were trying to buy a Cockshut 20 and uh, we went there with about $6,000 cash to buy it, and it went for $11,000. In the McDougall family, pulling with cockshut tractors isn't just for the older generation. Howard's son Andrew is pulling with his 1949 cockshut 30, which he figures has around 25 horsepower. He likes to pull in low gear and have the rear tires about half full of calcium for extra traction. This tractor is almost like a member of the McDougall family because they've had it ever since Andrew's grandfather bought it as a farm utility tractor. Uh, they bought it in 64. He didn't buy it brand new. It was rebuilt at the dealer and they needed a chore tractor for around the farmyard and whatnot and he had bought this from the dealer. Brand new rear tires were installed in this tractor in 1964 and they'd never been off since. In addition to having a long family history with the cockshut name, the younger McDougall also enjoys collecting these tractors simply because they were built in Canada. He stores this tractor indoors to minimize weather damage and generally looks after it quite well. Uh, since I've owned it, uh, I did a major overhaul on the engine. Uh, I'd never touched anything on the final drive or transmission. This is the engine and sheet metal, and there's a few other little odds and ends I had to do fix and replace. We also met collectors such as Mark Silzer of Belgoni, Saskatchewan, who isn't really partial to any particular make since he brought several to this vintage tractor pull. Right now he's pulling with a 1953 Minneapolis U, which has about 45 horsepower. It's still used to run a grain vac when they bring it back home to the Silzer farm. He came across this tractor a few years ago. And it was found in a shed just north of Regina here. And they said it hadn't moved since 1975, but they would go in the shed every year and turn the motor over just to keep it from seizing. And they were at the show here one year and seen the big Minneapolis and they asked if I'd like another one. So I bought it from them for about $800 and we winched it on the trailer. And on my way home, I stopped at Belgoni at the Napa store and bought points for it and drove it off the trailer. The big Minneapolis Silzer is referring to is this 1963G704 diesel, which has about 80 horsepower. It's being driven by Silzer's neighbor, John Camper, for this competition. It was one of the larger tractors of the early 1960s, and the Silzer still use it for field work once in a while. Mark says it pulls very well, even though they don't have any fluid in the tires. Okay, the G704 we found down by Moostra. The guy had redone it and he didn't have no use for it and he didn't want to use it and get it all scratched up, so I bought it from him. Zilzer also brought this 1953 John Deere 60 to the vintage tractor pull, where it's being driven by his father Les, mainly because he really enjoys running this tractor. Mark estimates it has about 38 horsepower and told us it was in pretty good shape when they first acquired it. All I've done since getting it is replace the tires and do some minor maintenance work on it. The Silzers really like it as a pulling tractor. Actually, it does pretty good. There's no fluid or no weights, and he usually powers out and spins out at the same time, so it's pretty well balanced. 
We bought it from a guy that lives in Regina here. He kind of restores and collects and he was getting rid of them. So I seen his ad in the Western Producer and bought one from him and kind of striked up a good friendship with the guy. He's here today too. We discovered that competing in a vintage tractor pole isn't just a man's game. Mary Ellen Smith of Royston, Saskatchewan grew up around Massey farm equipment and here she's driving her 1957 Massey Harris 555 diesel with about 60 horsepower. These competitions are supposed to be all in fun but she did admit to adding about 1500 pounds of weight to the tractor for extra traction just so she could beat some of the boys and it seems to be working out. Her husband gave her this tractor as a memorable surprise Mother's Day present. Uh, Scott worked out at Francis and he's, we've got a whole pile of old stuff out there so Scott brought this home in 2001 and he hauled it home on Mother's Day and he hauled some kids out there and said Happy Mother's Day and <laughs> I've been driving her ever since. Jim Zora of Regina, Saskatchewan brought this 1929 Caterpillar 60 with about 60 horsepower to the competition. He says these units could have been used for anything from farming to logging. Actually, it was Caterpillar's biggest tractor for quite a few years. It started out being Best, and then when Best and Holt amalgamated and made Caterpillar, this was one of the ones that they kept. Zora figures he found this machine about 20 years ago near Williston, North Dakota. At the time, it was in poor shape, and the engine was seized up and full of water. He spent about a year restoring this Caterpillar 60 to its present condition. Of course, since the unit runs on tracks, it has a significant pulling advantage over all tractors on tires. 